Hello friends, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech. It's been a while since I recorded the video because of some internal issues I had, but then I'm back to be back again. Okay, so in this one, we'll be talking about the two popular package managers. So I call this the ultimate package manager showdown. So we'll be talking about NPM and YAN, talking about some pros and cons. Which one is best at the end, you decide which is best for you to use. Okay. Alright fam, um, welcome back. Okay, so in this one, we'll be looking at what NPM is, what YAN is, some pros and cons of using NPM and YAN. And at the end of the video, you'll be deciding for yourself which one is best for you or which one is going to work best for you. Okay, so what then is NPM and how does this thing even work? So essentially, NPM stands for Node Package Manager and it's a command line tool that comes bundled with Node.js. When you store Node.js, um, it comes already installed with Node.js. So NPM has been around for some time now and it's the, 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 the favorite package manager for most developers, especially JavaScript developers. And it's currently maintained by Facebook and it was created by Isaac. Okay, so now let's look at what YAN is before we look at the pros and cons of using NPM and YAN. Okay, so YAN is a package manager developed by Facebook. Um, so it was designed to address some issues and performances um, of, of, of NPM. So you see NPM has certain issues, so that's why Yan came in to address those things. And it's gaining popularity small, small. Okay, so great. Okay, so now um, it's, it, it has become a great competitor for NPM now. Okay, so now let's look at some uh, pros and cons of using NPM. So now the pros. Okay, so it's NPM is currently widely adopted because it has a large community and it's a bit stable and mature and it's already comes integrated or bundled with Node.js when you install Node.js and NPM is easy to use. So currently NPM has an active community. All right, so let's look at some cons of NPM. So NPM has a flat model structure. So this means that NPM can lead to dependency conflicts and duplicated packages. And NPM has inconsistent versioning. So NPM can, uh, packages or dependencies can differ across environments, causing unexpected behavior in applications, etc. And some security concerns and some global installations. All right, fam. So now let's look at some pros and cons of using YAN. So we talk about speed and performance. So YAN has this parallel installation and caching mechanism that makes it relatively faster than NPM. And there's this predictable installs feature of YAN. So YAN comes with a YAN.log file, just like package log.json, that ensures consistent package versioning and reduces compatibility issues. And there's this workspace support and there's this offline mode. So the offline mode, so YAN caches packages, which allows them to work offline without this disruption okay and there's this selective installation feature too so yan makes you do installation for development mode and um, for production mode too as well okay so now let's look at some cons of using yan so um less adoption because it has yan is it's is, is not popular um like npm um, yan just came into the market so most developers are now jumping into yan and the learning curve and this pmp compatibility which means a plug and play feature so yarn's plug and play feature might not be compatible with all existing projects and tools because they are still working on it and dependency maintenance okay so great all right fam so this is a popularity statistics from 2017 all the way to somewhere 2023 so npm is the one in blue and yarn is the one in orange so before the end of the video i'll be walking you through some npm and yarn command so stick with me to the end all right fam so now let's look at some npm packages this command is used to initialize a new project so you create a package.json file npm install is used to install all the packages listed in the package.json file and this and this command is used to install a package globally so the um, hyphen g flag stands for global you can do it npm install dash global this command is used to install a package, so npm install the package name. We also have npm updates to update a package. This command uninstalls a package. This command searches for a package related to a keyword. And this command is used to publish a package to the npm directory or registry. Okay, fam, so now let's look at some yarn commands. Same as npm, so this creates a new project to the package.json file. This command is used to install all the list of dependencies in the package.json file. This command is used to add a package to your project. So when you add it, dash dash dev and flag it adds the development only package and this command is used to remove a package from your list of dependencies and this command is used to free up the space here 
and finally this command is used to add a package to your workspace only okay so this is more like a disclaimer so for personal use only um if you like my content and you like to help me you can buy me a coffee so the link is in the description and um, please subscribe please like this video please share and comment so i know your thoughts okay so now let's move on so the try between using or choosing between npm and yans depend on your project's requirements so team preference and familiarity with the tools so both have their merits and um, demerits but then let me know in the comment which one works for you which one is the best for you but it's good to learn both okay so a little summary before we wrap up the video so npm and yarn are tools for managing javascript packages but then npm is widely used and easy to work with because it has always it has been there for quite some time now and npm was developed by or is currently maintained by github so microsoft because microsoft also has shares in um, npm and github and yarn was developed by facebook so yarn has come to address certain issues of npm and yarn is a bit quicker and and has and gives you um, options for you to um control your dependencies better okay so guys um thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me to the end and um, don't forget to like this video please comment please share and subscribe